We spent several decades with the best historians in the world trying to analyze of local collaboration and history fraud and, of course, what it meant for us, uh, the Sovietization, which in Lithuania, Latvia, and Tonya, I think in Poland, we, uh, we really tried to counter that during occupation. We tried to understand we are not Soviet people. And for us, of course, it was something alien because the memory about pre-war state in Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Poland, we had lots of memories. The memories that brought us through all these years. And uh, this was a very successful uh, uh, story of nation building in uh, Central Europe and the Baltic countries. And this helped us to survive this terrible occupation. Uh, I'm very sad that uh, Ukrainian uh, sovereignty after Bolsheviks' uh, riot continued for just three years, but you also uh, have uh, your own part of your own history. So coming back to your question, I can clarify that Uh, while with Mr. Yeltsin in negotiations about our independence, uh, with Mr. Rishkov, who used to be the Prime Minister, I was in both delegations. No doubt we understood that in 1990s, uh, uh, Russian Democrats are, of course, our friends, and now we are sad about uh, the murder of democracy in Russia because we remember those huge demonstrations uh, with posters Freedom for Lithuania on Manezhna Square. Uh, there were lots of other demonstrations which unfortunately were ended in democracy in Russia, clamped down and destroyed. And now these people who are in power, who I think uh, are partially responsible for the destruction of Russian democracy and Russian Democrats physically, uh, I think that Uh, they started reviewing history and different senses of it, cancellation of what was already there, even in the end of Perestroika during the last session of MPs. That is actually uh, on the molotov ribbentrops pact. And again, in this glamorous version, I would say, of Stalin's regime, that was an incredible attempt to try and enter history back and to transform all achievements of the best Russian minds and uh, even the last attempts to change the Russian constitution. We've seen that as well. I mean, the current attempt even it includes uh, that people who are going to try uh, telling the truth in Russia will be under lots of legal consequences in Russia, and historians will be unable to speak their mind freely. And uh, this uh, as actually Russian authorities going back, and that's rather spectacular. And I have to say that we'll have to uh, turn uh, history again into historical investigations that were done in Poland, in the Czech Republic, in Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. We'll have to bring that to a political level again. You know that Estonia is now uh, head uh, of uh, uh, UN Security Council, and uh, now in New York there is a huge discussion of the Second World War. Unfortunately, this comes, this goes from the academic field into political once again. And uh, yesterday, until very late evening in the Parliament, we discussed all items of the new resolution of the Lithuanian Parliament, which I proposed, and Lithuanian Parliament accepted. Uh, adopted a very big resolution on all items of history, including, of course, respect towards everyone who fought against uh, uh, German occupants with weapons in their hands, but along with that also resisted the revisionist approach of Moscow, which tries to say one incredible thing, uh, that uh, Munich's plot 
and a Munich agreement, let's say, was on the same level as uh, molotov ribbentrop Pact. That's what current um, uh, heralds of propaganda from the Kremlin say. We don't think that the uh, division of Czechoslovakia, which is no doubt Uh, this is a sign of West giving up its positions during Munich, Munich's agreement, but this doesn't mean that molotov ribbentrop Pact that for 22 months uh, destroyed Central Europe. And by the way, uh, I have to say that this it's not the same as Munich's agreement. That, uh, so I'm going to answer that we'll have to move to the political level and provide a clear answer and try for this answer to be on behalf of the European Union. You have the last resolution of the European Parliament, which totally clearly says uh, and talks about the values of the European Union, and I think that the US and the Western world will be on our side.